What's up guys, Nerdy Noob here and welcome back to another unboxing video. In this video, we're going to be unboxing the 2017 December, the collector's case. I'm excited to open this box only because a lot of you guys said I was going to like it and I'm interested to see what's inside, so let's go ahead and get this box open. It already, it's like, it's like exploding, whatever's in here. It's exploding out. Hopefully it came in good condition. If you're interested in getting this box, I will go ahead and put all of the pricing details in the description below for you. Once you cut the tape and you open up the box, this is what you're gonna see. This box is so, it's like heavy and bulgy now. I don't know what's in it, but how does it look? How does it look? I can't hold this for much longer. Ugh, okay. Oh. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, I'm excited, okay. The first item that we got, oh. The only problem with shoving a box full of really good things is that things get damaged, which sucks, but that's okay. Let's just go ahead. This blanket smells musty though. The first time we got is this awesome blanket from the Star Wars Force Awakens of Rey and BB-8. I love these little throw blankets. They're really, really great, especially now that I work in the garage sometimes. it's I, I like try to hoard as many of these types of blankets as possible just because you never know what you're going to need. So I love this. It's super cool. It's called a silky soft throw. I love that. I gotta wash it though, it smells very interesting. Okay, so we got two more Star Wars items that I can tell are not good condition. The first one that we got is, is this a, oh you guys, this is what makes it, and I don't know if they put the box in there and it was already damaged, but this is a, a wacky wobbler, I don't know if it's a wacky wobbler or just a wobbler, of uh, Boba Fett, and it's a 2017 Galactic Convention exclusive. So this is an exclusive, which is cool, except for the box is super damaged. Uh, I'll show you guys that in a second. So this is him, and then that's the back. As you can see right there, you see how this box is like, it's like torn right here. So it came in really bad condition, but what I'll say is that because I don't actually collect this type of figure and like leave it in the box although I really enjoy that it's an exclusive I actually might take it out of the box and just have it because I think that he's really cool like I actually really enjoy this figure I should say bobblehead huh next we have a Funko Pop and same situation luckily this is not an exclusive I'd probably die um, we got Luke Skywalker from The Last Jedi I already have this pop I got this whole s collection already but it's a cool pop it's just let me show this to you hold on here's a side view if you look at the back and the sides, it's just because they try to shove so much stuff in here. There's a tear right here on the box, and the box is just super bent up. If this wasn't so torn, I actually think we might be able to fix this box. I don't know if you can see the tear there. I actually think that we could probably fix this box by just flattening it out, because there's no hard creases. There's a little bit of a crease but a lot of them are just like the bends that you could probably flatten out, um, but the tear you can't fix, obviously. The next one we got is a Star Trek item. It's Regent's Flagship Expansion Pack, and this is just, I think this is just like a display ship model, like not that you play with, but just something that you look at. It's very heavy, so I'm gonna assume this is actually made out of metal, and there's a little stand that you get, but here's the ship. There you go. Oh, this has 20 cards, 22 tokens. Oh, this is a game. Oh, it's an expansion pack to a game. I see. Do we have the actual game? We'll have to see. I don't know. It's it, Sometimes it's not fun to have an expansion pack if you don't have the, reg, the regular pack. Next, we have a Doctor Who Titans vinyl mystery figure. I'm actually not going to open this. I apologize, but I am going to leave this a mystery and put this in my giveaway because I actually... I really want to try to get the sixth doctor. Okay, maybe we'll open this. Okay, change my mind. We're going to open this. Sorry for anyone who asked for uh, Doctor Who items because you're going to get this opened. I always feel so bad when I open these things, though. I'm not a huge fan of Titan vinyl figures, but I just don't like the way they look. But I, I like mystery things, so. Okay, I'm going to guess that we got the... I think we got the 10th Doctor, just a regular 2 out of 20. I'm going to guess him. Let's see if I was right. Oh my gosh, you guys. I totally nailed that. I totally nailed that. I'm so excited. So we got the 10th Doctor, 2 out of 20, which means it's 
one out of 10, so not a rare one. The more rare ones are like one out of 40 or one out of 20, but we got the 10th doctor, there he is. There he is. Oh, and he comes with his sonic screwdriver right there. Still not a fan of Titan vinyl figures. Next, we got two Frozen figurines. These are mystery packs. I'm not gonna open these, only because I actually have received these before, and they're just these little figures, nothing too crazy, but I'm gonna go to put these in my prize box. I actually might bring them to Christmas dinner tonight just in case we have some little kids who need something to carry around with them. And then the, oh, there's two more items. The next item we got is, I don't know what it is. Something having to do with emojis, I think. It's like a little ball. I don't really know, let's open it. It's this green ball and it has a little door here, I think. Oh, oh. I don't actually, oh, shoot. I'm not quite sure what this is, but it has a little like poop emoji and it's a weird material. It's, I don't know what this feels like. If I were to drop it, it would still get dirty, but it's not as squishy as some of the other toys. I don't know what this is supposed to be. I guess you can take this thing. I don't understand why I would do that. So you take the container and you flip it around and apparently it makes this like this. I don't, and then maybe put the emoji. I don't know why you want to do that, but you can. There you go. We got a poop emoji thing. I might bring this for Audrey. I think she likes the poop emoji. And the last one we have is a pack of Doctor Who trading cards. We only got one pack this month, which is weird. Usually we get multiple. One autograph per pack. Oh, maybe that's why. Should I open it to see who we got? I always feel bad opening these things because I'm not a Doctor Who fan, so I'm gonna put this in my giveaway, but somebody will get this. I'm gonna open it up nice. Okay, who did we get for the autograph card? So here's our five cards. It's cool that we know we're gonna get an autograph, but here, these are the five cards that I got. The Ninth Doctor, Martha Jones, The Valleyard, and Craig Owens. And then the autograph that we got is of Sarah Sutton, who plays Nyssa. So that's cool. I don't know if that's good or not. I don't really know. But there was only, it was 50 out of 50, so that's cool. It says that it's authentic at 50 out of 50. So we got the last one. The last one. Very cool. I'm going to put that in my giveaway, though, because I don't have any reason to keep that unless is it like super valuable let me know in the comment section actually i'm gonna look it up on ebay right now it's cool that there's only 50 in the world though that card's going for 20 dollars online one of them is going for 30 dollars oh that's not bad that's cool okay so that's everything in the box the theme this month was the collector's case december 2017 case 20. there you go so the first oh they gave us a bunch of stocking stuffers i see how that is um, the first item that we got is, we'll do our Doctor Who pack of trading cards. Everyone got an autograph, which is nice. I usually price those at $2 a pack. I'm going to go ahead and give that 3 Actually, I, you know what? I'm going to give that $5 because there's an automatic autograph per pack, so I feel like that's going to be worth more. So I'm going to give it $5. That might be pushing it. I'm not sure. We got our Wacky Wobbler, and it's our 2017 Galactic Convention exclusive. It was in terrible condition, which makes me really sad because if it wasn't, I'd give it $15. But because it is, I'm just going to go ahead and give that $10. I still like the figure itself, though. It's, it's still a nice figure. We got our Funko Pop Star Wars from The Last Jedi. Uh, you could have received, I'm assuming, all of them, but or all one of I, like any of them, but I got Luke Skywalker. Um, I'm going to go ahead and give this $9. Actually, I'm going to give it $8 because it's kind of in poor condition, and I feel like you can actually get that for $8 now. We had our Star Trek Attack Wing Miniature Expansion Pack. Oh, this is the Hero Clicks game. My Hero Clicks that I've received did not look like this before. Uh, I don't know how much this is worth. Okay, so this is like a legitimate thing. I looked it up on eBay. Uh, I would say this is probably worth anywhere from $8 to $10. I'm going to go ahead and give it, because it's a game and it's a figure, I'm going to go ahead and give that $9. We'll go in the middle. We got our Titans Vinyl Mystery Figure. I'm going to go ahead and give this, we'll say 5 or $6. Let's go ahead and do 6 
We got our two Disney Frozen figurines. Uh, these aren't worth too much. I would probably at most give these $2 each. So we'll give $4 for the two. And then we got our emoji squishy. I'm gonna go ahead and give this two fifty. Oh, and we had our blanket. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot that. The blanket's sweet. I think you can easily give this blanket $10. I don't know if it's worth that much more because it's not like the super thickest blanket or anything. We're gonna go ahead and give it $10. You might be able to give it around $12, but I think it's 10 to 12. Well, we'll give it 10. The autograph that you could have gotten if you either got the sure thing case or if they had the drop is of Worf from Star Trek The Next Generation, which is a cool one. Very nice. We did not get that. Okay, so according to my pricing, I think they, did they stop doing themes? Is that, is that what's happening? I don't know if they stopped doing themes because they, they're starting to just promote it as like case 21 and case 22. But according to my pricing, this box is worth $54.50. This box costs $33 a month, which means it got $21.50 extra value. So here's the thing. I actually really, really like this box because I like Star Wars. So I love all the different Star Wars items that they gave. I wish that they came in better condition. That's my only complaint. I love the blanket. I love the Wacky Wobbler. I love that we got a Funko Pop. Um, the other stuff was okay. I'm not a huge Doctor Who fan. I do like the cards with the autograph guaranteed thing in it, which I think is really cool. And I don't like Titan vinyl mystery figures. The other stuff, the small stuff like the Star Trek item, the squishy emoji thing, and the Disney Frozen figurines, those ones are like you know, those are just extra stuff. But all in all, it's a good box. I wish that, again, I wish that the figures came in better condition. If I had to rate this box, I would give this box a 4.5 out of 5 noobs. Here's the thing. If the figures came in good condition, I would probably give this box a 5 out of 5 noobs. It got really good value, and it's really cool. There's exclusive items. Like, I like that, and I love the blanket. Although, look, you could have gotten a Kylo Ren blanket. I wouldn't have minded that. Um, but I like the, the, I like the mixture of items, like the types of items, like the value. I just wish that they would have come in a little bit better condition. So because of that, I'm going to give this box a 4.5 out of 5 noobs. But if it hadn't been like that, I probably would have given this box at least a 4.75 or even a 5 out of 5 noobs because the value is amazing. And the items are really cool. Like licensed items, like all around licensed items. You can't, you can't like complain about that, you know? All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, feel free to click the like button below. If you want to see more unboxing videos, go and check out my channel. I have a whole bunch on there and you should subscribe. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys thought about this box. What were your thoughts about the items and the value and what would you rate it? And before we go, we must do, oh, and don't forget, if you subscribe to my channel and your subscriptions are blocked to such a private, you'll make it onto my thank you to subscribers page, which is coming up shortly, but it's going to be an old one because YouTube still hasn't fixed my glitch of subscribers and the names updating, so I'm waiting for that. But before we go, we must do the video shout out. Today's video shout goes to Melissa White. Melissa White, you get the video shout out. Thank you so much for watching and commenting on my videos. I appreciate all of your support. I hope that Melissa, I hope that you have a great day. You get the video shout out. Shout out to you, Melissa. Shout out to you. All right, guys, have a great day. I don't know when I'm posting this, but I hope you guys have a great holiday season. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.